I know y'all missed us for a week, but we're back. It's episode 16 of the Black Boy Content Club podcast. I'm one of your three hosts, your resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington. We missed all y'all for real, but I'm going to let the two fellas go ahead and introduce themselves first. Hey, it's your boy Moses Prem, man. Hood All Star, man. You are All Star. We all All Stars. Uh, sorry about last week, man. But hey, <laughs> yeah, what the, no, 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 no. we back. We, we back what in happened. it. We, we we back in it, man. Hey, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we PremsisCinema dot com. Get like, the nice shirts, yeah. man. He's like, hey, sorry about last week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's your boy, the Dark Attack, Chris Barnes, man. Uh, we in here. Yeah, I mean, last week, look, I, was it the first episode that we had a nigga moment where I was hella late? Well, no, I went, I came early after we had scheduled a time. Yes. And then last week, finally, Prim had a nigga moment. I don't and, like the way this pattern is going. See, I don't like the way this pattern is going. There was a lot like of confusion because, first of all, we moved the time back. <laughs> we did. And then we just. Jay was out here getting checks. He had no some camp. filming to do. So right. I thought, yeah, I thought after the time moved back, it was just going to go straight to cancel. I didn't. I couldn't <laughs> imagine a world where we do this podcast without Mr. Jay Washington. Uh, okay, I hear There's you. No I mean, I appreciate it. I can do this that without means Mr. Jay Washington. a lot to my spirit and totally. my, my self esteem. Yeah, that's right. Because that's why I asked Jay, do what he want us to do. And he said, y'all just do it. I yeah, was I wasn't like, paying attention. I already, <laughs> yeah. I already yeah, checked out by then. Just, I went to back to sleep so, or whatever. So the fuck. look, so Bernie said it, and like, yeah, I was booked. I got booked on something Friday afternoon. Uh, I got Can you tell us about that? What did you get booked on? Sir? So tell us all about that. So yeah, basically, uh, uh, so I got booked. I'm not gonna give the full full details. I told y'all what it is. Mm-hmm. I got sh- I got booked to shoot the pilot of a new sketch comedy show. Uh-huh. So I'm in the cast of that. I got you know I got cast as one of the cast members of a new sketch comedy show, which is dope. So Saturday they're gonna be giving you all the fat roles or whatever. They're gonna make you play all the fat niggas. Can you play face on love? And yeah, like, you're gonna have to play all the fat niggas. Hey, it's a, fuck you niggas. Hey, it's uh, all good, man. Get but no, so but no, we did a lot of shit. It wasn't, wasn't even just that. It was just some funny shit we did. But Saturday, I knew I had to be out because when you shoot, it can be anywhere from 14 to 16 hour days. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, yo, I, I told my agent, I was like, the only way I can do this is I got to have two hard outs. I said, Saturday, I got to be in Long Beach by 9 p.m. So I got to be out by 8. Saturday, I got to be at the comedy store at 8. So I got to be out by 7 at the latest, no matter what. She was like, I let them know. They got back to me. They said, cool. Boom. So when we filmed on Saturday, that was the longer day. I still got out by my call, my time, made it. Then it came to Sunday. They were like, oh, we gonna fuck around, be done by like two o'clock. So I was in Sun Valley shooting, which is about 25, 30 minutes from where we shoot our podcast. So I was like, all right, bet I should be able to make it. Then lunch came at two o'clock and they hadn't got to shit. I was shooting. And I was <laughs> and like, I just got so wrapped up in lunch that I was just like, fuck it. No, nah, once they go to lunch, <laughs> that's an hour that they got to take. And then I was like, all right, so I'm not going to be done. They're not going to be get yeah. to be at least 3 o'clock, 3.15. Yeah. So that's when I hit y'all and was like, yo, I'm not going to make it. Just go ahead and shoot the episode. And so I'm like, all right, they're going to shoot the episode. Is that what you said? Did you say go ahead and shoot the episode? Yes, yeah. go ahead, y'all do. Yes, I don't think shit. nobody yes, said that, bro. I literally I'm going to go through the text. I'm going to go through Friends, the text. I'm going to see that shit. in the group chat. I'm going to go and check. He said go ahead and shoot that Just episode. Just go ahead and do the episode. I said go ahead and do it without me because I'm not going to make it. I yeah, because he said that. specifically, I'd rather we not skip another week. I said we not skip a week. Because we the previous week. Okay, all right. I said I'd rather we not skip a week. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, a swage in the- no. so this is where shit get wild, y'all. So, everything done. I wrap about four thirty five o'clock. I'm going to the crib. I text Burns. Hey, did y'all shoot? Burns. Hey, I ain't heard from that nigga Prim. I what? sat here for an hour with producer <laughs> yo. <laughs> Talking about sports and fucking technology and the future shit. I'm, yeah, I'm like, y'all ain't getting no confirmation I was coming. <laughs> and the precedent was already set. So I figured, you know what I mean? Like, I'm we just, canceled, we I, canceled both times when both other niggas couldn't show up. But yeah, yeah. I, I get why you yeah. wanted to keep the show going. I was just going I, off the conversation we was having in the chat. I'm like, this nigga Prim is dead. (laughs) Hey, so that's the best part, y'all. So we start sending text, me and Birds sending text messages in the group chat between the three of us. Like, yo, is this nigga alive? alive? What is going on? Hey, nigga, we just want to know you. You know, niggas start getting serious. That was the concerted part that you went in his back. He was just like, yo, what happened to Prim? I definitely definitely replied back or whatever once I woke up. And I was like, hey, you okay? Both text messages didn't go through for some reason. I think one of us got an Android in the group chat. No and, fake, only one nigga got it. Yeah, it was definitely some some weird red exclamation marks I've never <laughs> seen. Pop up I, 
Android. I, I'm happy. I'm a <laughs> proud Android user. Android gang gang. Uh, also, until you try to send a nigga a GIF, or yeah, or <laughs> try to send this nigga a picture. Yeah, and it is like, well, like I, I can't you see it, dog. Hey, hey, I'm sending that shit to IG. Listen, <laughs> hey, so we start we're here sending, though. Start sending, hey, hey, we niggas start getting sir. Hey man, I just want to know you okay. Nah, yeah. hey, you, hey, you alive? We love you, dog. Because then it was like. We didn't see you because, like, I was like, all right, let me see if this nigga posted on the gram. This nigga ain't posted nothing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this yeah, nigga yeah, ain't posted bro. nothing. I was like, this nigga ain't responded. I was like, oh, this nigga. Like, like, oh, this, this nigga, nigga got, got a some... candlelight visual and shit. <laughs> it's like, this, this nigga, nigga got some gang beef on <laughs> no jumpers. <laughs> 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 he lay hey, low, dog. Funny, yeah, right? Hey, <laughs> shout out No Jumper, man. And <laughs> they jumped this nigga on No Jumper. <laughs> hey, lucky, I, that was a concern of mine. You know, I was very concerned going Ooh, out there. Oh, shit. And so, yeah, but that's what happened, man. Let's, let's, <laughs> but we back, man. We I know y'all missed us. I know we, uh, oh, we, yeah. we, we was gone for a second, but we back. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, man, so what's been up with y'all week, Burn? What's been up with you first? Hey, man, uh, I've been on the road. I've been traveling. I was with... Um, the Brad, the Brad, the, the bad Brad. friend, the Brad friends I was tour. First, I was like, I'm with the Brad. Yeah, I'm with the Brad. I'm with the Brad. Surprise! I'm her baby daddy. Uh, hey. you know I mean? uh, From the S O S O D E. But nah, yeah, I was with the Bad Friends tour for a few, couple stops. Uh, Bobby Lee, Andrew Santino, that was hella dope. Um, and then I had to shoot over to Chicago for my man Ryan Davis, who just shot uh, his special in Chicago. Two sold out shows at the House of Blue Chicago. Happy for that nigga. And uh, yeah, and then I was in San Diego this past Friday with mm. uh, Becky Robinson. Some of y'all might remember was on Wild and Out. Little Pickles. She was going by back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, Little Pickles. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she had two Little sold out Pickles. shows at Yo, House of Blue San Diego. This entitled housewife joint she been doing. Like the pandemic started and Becky started golfing. Yeah. And Becky just made a character golfing like an entitled almost like a karen okay, yeah that's kind of funny. based on her mom based on her mom <laughs> but the shit caught like wildfire yeah, bro went crazy she did a show and when she started right before the tour started i remember she did a show at the improv she had like a golf club or whatever she got the golf she, skirt she and everything that you see the white women have on the thing is it's a bunch of women in the crowd and dresses her. dressed as her oh geez that's when you know yeah. what you doing and what you got is on fire. Yeah, yeah, that's like Andrew Tate and shit, how niggas will shave their head and, <laughs> and watch Andrew Tate two times. But yeah, shit. shout out to Becky. Uh, <laughs> and shout out to y'all, man. We You got us to 91 uh, five-star reviews We're on so Apple close, Podcasts. Bro. We rolling, we closing in mm. on them motherfuckers that gonna remain nameless that I don't like. But they up, but here's the deal: they up to one seventeen because y'all been slacking. But that's okay. We still, I'm still gonna do Wait, it. Do they shoot here? Is this the same? No, it's not here up in this room. I thought it was niggas here. I was no, 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 no. I got a lot of beef with a lot of podcasts. <laughs> oh, we start. I'm starting hella podcast beef. Let us <laughs> yeah, start really right, getting crazy. Go Let us go on tour. You gonna hear me talk a lot of shit like Would a whole lot of shit. Y'all do a boxing match? Y'all do a boxing? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We got some, some we'll, I think we got some who will wins of the three of so. us today. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> we do. Uh, <laughs> but so shout out to y'all. Appreciate you. Like I said, I'm gonna still stick to my original word. Did I say 113? 113. Or 112? 113 uh five star reviews on Apple Podcasts. I'm gonna give away a free Nan shirt. And we got a new sponsor, y'all. What's the new sponsor? We got a new sponsor. So uh, always we are sponsored by the National uh, Association for the Advancement of Niggas, yes. better known as NAN. Shout out to y'all who've been buying the t-shirts. Yes. The NAN t-shirts been going crazy. Appreciate y'all for and that. And also niggas like you. And always <laughs> niggas like you. Thank you. Um, but also we are sponsored today by niggas who've never used a head sponge in front of white people. Ah, never yeah. one time. All right, I'm going to get about it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You know what because I mean? they never did the twist thing. Nah, 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 nah. Because yeah. there's a lot of white women it's who don't know that explain. exists. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to explain too. They don't. They're gonna ask you what you're doing and right. shit like that. Right. Why right. do you have a sponge for the house on your head? <laughs> so keep keeping it secret. See, producer yo is lost. <laughs> yeah. He don't know what I the know sponge he is. Look at she was like <laughs> <laughs> with that, that confused ass. Huh? But yeah, keep the nigga secrets to to, to yourself. You yo. know that's not possible. Shout <laughs> out to TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, I must say shout out. Yeah, everybody. Because that's what I was. I was even saying this. I think on the Twitch stream or something, but. Uh, somebody was complaining about like 
their region using other regions slang or whatever mm. and like the slang er- oh yeah, and I'm yeah. Just like all that shit is mixed up now like absolutely slang is going viral like that like well, there's why, no more regional slang that's like, why rap all sounds the same thing. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you know like west coast sound yeah. east coast yeah. sound right. everybody uses the same beats yeah, yeah, yeah. Much, yeah pretty what much what about so. you prim oh uh good ass week man i've been chilling man a busy week uh shout out no jumper again uh shout out all the twitch homies uh make sure y'all go watch dear mama on hulu it's out now came out yesterday uh tupac documentary i'm gonna do a whole review of it uh but shout out to fx you know what i mean they they sponsoring your boy they want me to do a look at the tupac thing and i think it's because uh, the way i say tupac i think low key people <laughs> just want to hear me say tupac and shit like, over and over again say tupac no yeah so shout out to tupac and his mom or whatever <laughs> yeah. but, so, i'm gonna mean, definitely watch, i haven't watched this i haven't watched it yet so uh be on the lookout for the re- the review that was coming soon yeah swerve mm-hmm. man it was uh like i said it was a dope week starting off with um the 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 pilot sketch shooting joint then this past thursday i shot i got my own show on uh america's funniest home videos network on uh it's called uh animal laws it's basically me doing i did a hundred it's on the network it's on pluto it'll be on pluto tv it'll be on pluto okay i'll be be watching pluto all the time yeah it'll be on pluto and roku (laughs) i think it'll drop within either a couple months or first quarter okay that's what's uh, up bro it's on what channel uh, whatever the AFV channel, the American okay, Video right. channel is, uh, so that and the Roku channel and stuff like that. So I shot, I shot, a, I did a hundred and hundred and seven voiceover clips, Damn. and then I had to shoot all ten episodes of my on camera stuff. So I did all of that. So I shot the whole first season of that. So waiting on that to drop, and then we'll see where we're going for more seasons. It was like we've been waiting to do a whole show with you. So that was that was a blessing. Um, Y'all haven't seen me since the last time we recorded. I got a car. So okay, I have a car up. now, uh, which now I have a car note, which is like, uh, you know, and, and I used to be, I was tripping at first, but then I was like, I was renting cars a lot. So when I broke down how much I was spending renting cars in comparison to my car note, I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. I'm good. So that was that. Um, yo, I got to tell y'all about this first date I went on last week. Uh oh. Hey, oh, hey Jake, you, bitches out here. you got the draws, man. Yeah. So, you pee on yourself, GTD, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? So you pee on yourself, Nick? No, I didn't pee on myself. That's all right. Oh, I got a Honda. So, shout out to producer, yo. I got me a 2019 Honda Elantra. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I got 2019 Honda Elantra. So, what's the wheels? What's yeah. the wheels? Yeah. <laughs> so, me and this chick, we go on this day. We meet up at the spot in uh in Sherman Oaks, Mr. Furley's dope little spot. Mr. Furley, like the Three's Company. That's the name of the place. Oh, okay. everything, everything, <laughs> yeah, and everything, everything is Three's Company theme. Oh, really? Hilarious. Well, like the, the drinks and shit are it's Three's like Company theme. Type of yeah, the hilarious. Are three, there's a Jack shit. There's a, a Larry, Chrissy. I was all, being funny. That's fucking hard. That's up, it's not. Bro, I yeah. love right now, Three's Company. It's not like the Regal Beagle itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all the drinks and shit and everything. The theme is. We three, used to call that when two bitches we was fucking with showed up to the comedy company. store. <laughs> no, it was like, yo, it's a real Regal Beagle situation going on. Yeah. So we. <laughs> so, so me and her we're on this day we just chilling we having drinks and shit and then out of nowhere she was like i want to check your chart i was like bitch are you a doctor oh, no i'm out i'm out <laughs> i'm out already so, so, let me check my chart like, you know the moon bitches that like are into like <laughs> so, astrology and shit i was like producing i was like hell no yeah yeah we done so, that, so, you know, so she was like start. Right. no i'll be fucking with so, this so, 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 you know so i said you know what she cute. I'm still trying to fuck. Yeah, yeah. Listen. Let me let her go. What's your fire sign? So she was like, <laughs> she was like, what's your birthday? She like, do you know the time you were born? Yes, Which I do. Yeah, I know yeah. the time I was born. Yeah. So when I tell you a whole goddamn 30 page spread of everything, I'm a Capricorn rise and all this other shit. And so we just having a conversation and at points when she reading and she like, yeah, you probably think I'm crazy. And I'm like, no, girl, this is interesting. <laughs> I was like, she cap. <laughs> it wasn't cap. I was like, it isn't because it was like when you read some of the shit, though, it's crazy because I've never been into the chart shit. Uh-huh. Some of the shit I was reading, it was like, it definitely does apply to who I am as a person. Right. Say, so Jay's a believer. Yes, he is oh, now. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got your ass. Yeah, fuck she y'all. Erica Badu, you dog. You had the pussy, so you going to so start the, wearing head wraps So the shit? chart, what did the chart say? Did yeah. the chart letter... She was like, "No, nah, you can't smash now because nah, the, the, the moon ain't that. in the right phase." The chart said we connected because uh, she was like, "Okay, okay. your energy and all that." And I was like, "Word!" And now I got crystals at home. But oh, what this nigga died. <laughs> oh, cold as ass. You know what? Fuck y'all. I got a rose quartz <laughs> for love. But it was just like out of a first day shit. That was something I would have never expected to had happen. Like 
Like, oh shit, somebody shit getting broken in. That ain't mine. <laughs> uh, I would have never expected to have my chart read. And, like we hung out and the date lasted like five, six hours though. Okay. That's the thing. Cause, like, most, so we hung out for a while and then cause like uh, that, that one day we didn't do shit. So then like two days later we hung out again and then we went and we did karaoke and had margaritas and shit. Mm-hmm. And then we just hung out for a longer time after that. Fast forward to the end, nigga. Yeah, yeah, hurry the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> fuck this whole squad. What, dog? What's going on? So then on? we went back to the crib. Yeah. Uh, and so, what song did you sing? Boy, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 so, nah, so we go back to the crib, man. And uh, let me tell you something. If y'all sitting and trying to stay away from astrology chicks, get your life together. Them mm. some freaks. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, man. yeah. What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> What's her Instagram? What's her name? Yeah, nah, shout I'm out definitely going to tell your ass. What's up, you nigga? Don't tell me shit. Don't tell you <laughs> shit. Don't tell me a damn But nah, with that, and then, man, it was just like, you know, it was cool because here go this motherfucker. Yeah, see who Jay most recently followed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can go go check. Go check. That's I ain't funny. that nah, stupid nah, for you nah. motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't that stupid for you motherfuckers trying to figure out who I just recently followed, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you sit with like, uh, oh, so let me see who she is. Nope, you won't find that out. Following. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh. We'll find you. We'll find you, lady. We'll find it. We'll figure no, it out. No, no, no. Shout out to her. Yeah, uh, yeah. Shout out to her for giving yeah. being... Shout out to all the astrology ladies yeah. all yeah. over the world, That's man. That's the pick we took I, from I the definitely, set. I'll definitely go giving the gods. Go that route. Yeah. Man, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm thankful for the spirits, the essences. That's right. The ancestors. He was, he was uh, giving it up to Oshun and man, shit. Man, I, I was giving it up to <laughs> Venus and Mercury. Mm-hmm. I was giving, man, listen, let me tell you something. Mm. Yeah, I, I click pretty well with the astrology chicks. You, you know what I mean? I mean, as long as they're like chill, there's some that was the thing. She was super, ones whatever, that was the thing. Yeah. She was super chill. Yeah. She wasn't one of those, no, you need to hear this. Because <laughs> you get some people who you can tell their whole thing is they all about this shit. If this shit don't line up for them, they don't fuck with people like yeah, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She not like that. And so that was the dope. That's the dope thing. You know what I'm saying? So I it was just one of those things was like, oh, this is something, you know, that was pretty cool and shit. So. I just, I just had to tell niggas like, yo, nigga, yeah, you, shout out to you. Yeah, fuck, out, fuck with him. We out here on the dating scene. I don't like why you niggas pulled both, 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 both of you niggas pulled out your phones. We about to get to the topics, yeah, man. Yeah, we in here, bro. Right. Astrology chick. You know, I, I don't know. Them hoes scare me, bro. You know what I mean? Because. I grew up. All my all my people from New Orleans, and so so now you confusing astrology. Yeah, no, 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 I know, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Anytime like you be these magical bitches, or okay. whatever, magical bitches, it makes magical me think bitches. of that yeah, time. I get you, I get you. And all, for growing up, my aunts, my mom, grandma, everybody was like, "Do not date none of these women that be looking at cards." Like witches or, and shit. Oh, yeah. boy, they gonna put a root on you. Put a root on you. <laughs> I was like, "What the hell is a root?" That's crazy. And to this day, I still don't eat a bitch spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? I'm scared of these women, bro. Speaking of scary women, uh, the new Evil Dead movie is out, y'all. Uh huh. Yeah, I haven't you seen like it. That, you like that segue? Huh? Pretty good. I think that's just sick, strictly for the segue. <laughs> no, it's pretty pretty good, thank you, <laughs> thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah I haven't seen it. Uh, Jay has seen it. Jay yeah. is vouching for it. A lot yeah. of people are vouching for it. I want to go see the shit. I saw it, and I also want to vouch for the fact I'm in the studio sweating like a slave on the auction block. <laughs> yeah, but I understand mm-hmm. it's got to be you know can't have the air too much. But um, the new Evil Dead rises, bro. Yeah, like a lot of people, myself included, were hesitant as shit because. No, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, before we do that, how, how familiar are you with the Evil Dead franchise? Do you like scary movies? I, Same a, question for you. I bro. love scary movies. Okay. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Like I'm a fan of horror, gore, scary movies. Okay, and I say that because we, I, you, you, we're learning now that horror isn't just, it's an all-encompassing term and shit. Right. So you got suspense, thriller, you, know, you like know, psychological, psychological horror, like all Michael that Jackson's shit. thriller? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's a Michael Jackson thriller? I'm sure that scared the shit out of some kids. <laughs> yeah, scared shit oh, out. I mean, yeah, when he was and, little, and, and he bed. turned into a wolf and shit. Sure. That shit was, all, that shit was always phony. And then him turned into a wolf sounded like soldiers, really suspect. Well, he, Remember his yeah. howl? He was, <laughs> I mean, well, he can't get. He don't have a baritone. Yes, he did. <laughs> Nigga, have you not heard Michael Jackson's real voice? I have. I have. I have okay, I, have, I was I like, he, Mike's real voice. Yeah. Is by a, the time I had saw Thriller, yeah, it, Michael Jackson was already hilarious. So like, Thriller, <laughs> right, Thriller right, was right, hilarious. Right, right. Shit to me, yeah. uh, what? A, but the Evil <laughs> Dead franchise in general, you fuck with? Yeah, I fuck with in general, man. Going back, Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, and they. Uh, but Raimi didn't direct this. One. No, Raimi didn't direct it. Yeah, he produced and it though. He, he's a of course he's got to yeah, be yeah. a producer on it. Uh, Bruce Campbell is involved in an unnamed uh, credit because he's just uses a voice mm. to basically. There's a part. So, spoiler alert. No, nah, don't spoil it. Don't. Spoil this it. this is smaller spoiler. Only because yeah, we do, have do a little one. Smaller <laughs> spoiler. Yeah. 
some shit happens and a vault open and a vault opens up with a crypt in it and it's sealed up and this little white boy and this little white girl go in the crypt and the little white boy goes and sees some shits in there right pulls the thing out it's a necronomicon the book of the of course, dead yeah, yeah, yeah. and his sister is like yo put that shit the fuck back yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he like no no we can see what it is so he gets that, and then also he sees a bunch of like old, re- old like notes and everything, and some records, some actual records from like 1923. Yeah. This little white boy is trying to be a DJ, as we find out early in the movie. He oh, up okay. there scratching the mix. So he's like, oh, I got old records. I can be scratching the shit. And that's it's, where you get the incantation. So, and, it, yeah. yeah, on the record. But he, so look, with the book, the Necronomicon doesn't open on its own, it's sealed, and it's like bone teeth closing it. And the, the leather bind and everything are all flesh, and the, everything is etched in blood. These motherfuckers trying to open, he trying to open the book. The book won't open. He accidentally pricks his finger on one of the teeth bindings. His finger drips some blood on it. The blood gets absorbed into the binding. The book opens up. Mm. Now, in a real life situation, fellas, yeah. you see some shit like that happens. <laughs> what are you going, what's the first thing you going to do with that book? I'm going to throw that shit into the garbage. Can. <laughs> yeah, throw that shit out the look. motherfucking I mean, window. it's too late at that point. In most scary movies, you know, once yeah, that bitch opened up, it'll yeah, 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 yeah. reappear in your house or some bullshit like that. Right? It might, but again, there's a. it was a one-two combo. You needed the records to right, do right, some right. more oh, shit. Oh, okay. So. Like the book can open because you can't read it if you don't know how to transcribe the book right. of the fucking dead. Well, most, most situations in a horror movie, like, it would the movie would be a non-starter if it was yeah, all black I mean, people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, said, I told you about that movie. Like, Twelve yeah, yeah, yeah. Old, That's why I was so disappointed in Chidi <laughs> in that uh, Midsummer movie. It's like, now you going with these white women out to the <laughs> middle of the fucking? Because he thought he was finna fuck. Bro, bro he thought, he, bro thought nigga, he was finna man. fuck like crazy. Nah, nah he son. saw that weird shit going on. Yeah, you gotta go he, immediately. He immediately. When you see old motherfuckers, dude, when them old motherfuckers they hit eighty, <laughs> just start walking. Yeah, on like oh, now see. Shout out if y'all have not seen Midsummer. You have got to watch this. Nah, is the- I actually hate that movie. It's one of those. I, I hate. I, I st- I'm starting to hate A24 movies because what's the other one I just saw that oh, I hated? And, uh- uh, uh, Hereditary? Hereditary? No, actually, uh, w- something you made me watch. X. I hated X. You didn't that like X? That was stupid, man. Oh, that's hilarious. You didn't that like X? Was, no. Bro. Because A24 has this thing where it's like, you already know where they're going, and they just take so long to get there, and you think they're going to have some extra twist to it, but it's like, no, it's just So you like, knew, so we X has long been and came out by now. Well, so. I didn't know why they were, the old people were going to be killing people, but you know okay, why. So that's what you I'm, knew, s- I'm saying, you know the old people are going to kill them, and it's going to play out like a slasher movie, but like they have have like a yeah, but you didn't expect the old bitch to be killing it. You expect Pearl to be killing it. I mean, I expected it. the old couple to be, you know, what I mean, crazy. Like, what? Okay, you thought yeah. they were just gonna be regular and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, the same right. thing with the cult in Midsummer. You thought shit was just gonna be regular. And right, right, gonna right, go right. Nigga, I know I didn't expect to see no old people. I didn't know I expected to see no old people fucking in X. Which yeah, when Pearl was, was like, oh Harold, Harold, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh turn this shit off. Yeah, that was wild. That was a little wild. You fuck with Evil Dead though. Uh, I've never seen an Evil Dead movie. Are you a horror movie fan? I am a horror movie fan. Yeah, I favorite. Uh, favorite horror movie? I'm more like I like a I like paranormal type of movies. Okay. Uh, I don't know what my favorite is. I think the one that scared me the most probably just as a kid or whatever. Have you ever seen Thirteen Ghosts? Yes, yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, just scary. Yeah, yeah. I just recently, recently kid. watched that one. That's day. just pretty scary. It's just because the monster design, I guess. And yo, that motherfucking ghost like, that are shit's ter- the yeah. Juggernaut nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah all yeah, that yeah. shit's yeah. That shit got me. I wouldn't say that's my favorite. Okay. Um, probably one I go to a lot. Uh, Jeepers Creepers, the first Jeepers yes. Creepers. That one's mm. that one's I, solid. Like, I do a Jeepers joke Creepers, about the two. monster is pretty. I do a joke about two. You have you seen two? I've seen two. Remember, so remember what the premise of it is, right? Yeah. This yeah, nigga yeah. find for those who don't know Jeepers Creepers too. The creeper sees a bunch of kids on a bus, and of course he wants to eat whatever he thinks you have. This nigga is licking the window, picking kids yeah, out, yeah. and motherfuckers on the bus like, "What do we do? Let them niggas go with God." Because yeah, yeah. that's how I'm like. This is the easy discussion. We out. We yeah, out. Yeah, 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 he yeah. picked who he wants. Ain't no we gotta sit here and decide, oh, how we gonna get out this together? Ain't no we getting out this together no yeah. more. I'm moving seats in the bus. I'm like, all right, nigga, y'all. Yeah, you know, yeah, what? Shit, you know what? You had a nice life until your mama you was doing right. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna tell your auntie you want shit, but gone outside. Cause uh-huh. it, once he gets y'all, it's done. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no point in all of us getting I mean, fucked. they don't know the rules of the, the mm-hmm. creeper. It kind of seems like once this nigga gets who he wants, yeah. he's done because he literally 
He'll just kill you if you're in his fucking way. Yeah, yeah. But he just wanted these motherfuckers. So I always say about two, people always be like, oh, we can't sacrifice the people. Sometimes you got to do shit for the greater good, God That's why it. I say, now, don't put me in no zombie apocalypse scenario, yeah, bro. Yeah, you be the bad guy. You be not, throwing out little kids. As soon as niggas start tripping, they got to die. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you start tripping. As soon tripping, as you start yeah. tripping. Yeah. Someone you emotional, go. too you scared, go. whatever it you is. <laughs> we trying to survive out here. You know what I mean? I'm going to survive. Every, every little, like, would you survive the zombie test? I don't want to survive test? like that. I don't Oh, nigga, shut up. Like you know, you, <laughs> you know I, you I love how niggas always be like, man, I'm gonna go get all the guns. I'm like, bro, nah. And no, you, they're going the wrong way. You gotta think defense. You gotta think defense in those you situations. Know. Yeah, first of all, I'm yeah, getting a bunch of sharp get a little, shit. Nice little fortress. Or I'm building a fortress with all sharp shit around. And here's some game. Here's some advanced game. You find you a broken down Renaissance fair. You get you some chain mail. Yes, oh, zombies oh, can't bite right. through. through it. See, he know what I'm talking about. You get about. the chain, chain mail, mail baby. I be, You gotta think because bro. they're always. I was thinking head, like gents. phone books, like jail or whatever. I was all. You can that do that, that too. Plan. That too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, you just gotta have <laughs> something. Same way you try not to get shanked in jail. Right, niggas out here. Get some armor. Get you some armor. Niggas out here wrapped up with American jacket, yellow and white pages, nigga. The zombies and shit. But Evil Dead is an interesting franchise because uh, Sam Raimi made the college, the, the student film Within the Woods. Mm-hmm. Then he got a little bit of money, made the first Evil Dead. Mm-hmm. And then basically, then he got a, a major studio behind two, right? right? And they remade one again, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, the first one they did in 2013, redid yeah. it again. Okay. No, no, no. I'm talking about Evil Dead 2 is basically a remake oh, yeah, of just Evil a Dead 1. Yes, it's remade, yes. But just with a bigger budget? Or <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. But one of the things was Evil Dead 1 is hella unintentionally funny in a yes. bunch of parts. So they lean into it in Evil Dead 2. They lean all the way into it. Yeah, I hear it's got a blend of just horror comedy. But then when they get to 3, which is Army of Darkness, it's just a comedy. It's not even like horror really anymore. It's it's elements, but it's just like straight up funny. Yeah, the horror part is like people head exploding or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just like the dialogue is ridiculous, but intentionally so. Okay, that's what's up. So I would, I I highly recommend going back. Is this one funny? Is this one? I don't think this one's funny. Nigga, this one ain't funny. There's one funny part to me. So there's a part where you see motherfuckers through the uh through the POV of a peephole in the door. Right, right, right. And you watch motherfuckers walk this way, and this bitch go back that way, and she didn't murder niggas. Oh, and it's God. about a five, about a four or five minute sequence. Yeah. But it's hilarious because you just see bodies. Oh, nigga, shit, you just yeah. see murder. It's just one of those things like this wasn't meant to be funny. But the way it comes off, it's yeah, like, yeah. God damn. Yeah, I kind of want to see. I think I'm going to probably wait to it's streaming though. Which is now, you know, I hear a lot of people, I'm glad you brought that up. A lot of people been complaining because some movies stream real quick. And I think people forget the theatrical window is hella short now. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I, like, I like that, how like a fucking, like a month after the movie come out, this is already on stream. Nigga, Cocaine right, Bear right, is on Peacock fire. and I finally got a yeah, chance to like watch that. it because I've been fire. so busy. Yeah. Which, by the way, great fucking movie. <laughs> no, Cocaine Bear leaves because it knows as a movie it's absurd Yeah, because it can't be the real fucking story because the bear in real life died in like 90 minutes. Yeah, well, I heard the movie is a lot of cocaine, not that much bear. Shit. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. It's a lot of bear. All right. It's a lot of bear, but... The bear, when you see this motherfucker, the bear is hilarious because the way it mauls and murders niggas. Speaking of bears, you get hit on a lot, like in West Hollywood and shit. You said, do you? <laughs> <laughs> why, why you get quiet, dog? That's hilarious. That's the most wild ass trip. No, I'm just, just, I just, you know, I'm just curious. <laughs> we in West Hollywood right now. We, you do a lot of comedy in West Hollywood. I know. I just said what you just came out. <laughs> I just, I just want to know where the fuck your wife went. To, speaking of bears, uh, you're I'm a bear yourself. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some would consider you. <laughs> You know Some might consider he has a shirt to say life size teddy bear. Yeah, nigga, I do, yeah. I do. I um, I when I do shows like with Sam Hale, who does a lot of shows out yeah, here, yeah, yeah. And, like not the store, the improv and shit like that. But it's like if I do shows because she does shows at gay bars. Yeah, yeah. You know, so naturally, you know, you might get hit on and you might not. But it's just like, all right, does that make you feel on. sexy? It made me feel extra. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when a dude hit on you, make you feel extra. You're like, you know what, nigga? I can take over the world. I don't like you like that, bro. But I'm, you know what? I, pre- I appreciate it. When a gay dude hit on you, be like, you know what? That's your preference. That's not for me. Yeah. But thank but you. But God damn it. Yeah. Thank you. No, yeah, yeah. All right. You know what? Thank you. I hate you. Because that's like women when when women say when other women compliment them. Yeah. It's more of a it's more of an ego booster than when a dude does. See, for me though, nah, because you know, dudes are still dudes and dudes are just trying to fuck. 
You know what I'm saying? They'll say whatever they got to to fucking, you know. Yeah, that's a, and yeah. So and it's not the, a compliment. You said these niggas just said this to me trying to fuck <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. These niggas just trying to get some ass. You say anything. Yeah, yeah. These niggas, you know, men are, are still men. It, it is what it is. Preference be damned. So, yeah, fuck all that. That don't make me feel sexy at all. all right, that's just stopping, a side man? note. Fun, yeah, we got to go back to the horror shit. So, so yeah. what, you said you already said the ones that like scared you as a kid. He said, yeah, Jeepers Creepers, I think, is probably my favorite as far as just like that, yeah. that first movie. He just did. It just did something, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. like the mystery behind him or whatever. The yeah. one I don't I was oh, and, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't the creator in the he in some weird shit. He got like convicted of something. That nigga's a sexual like a, a sexual pedophile. Yeah, I think, oh, like, yeah he's, he's, Jeepers, he's, Jeepers, 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 Cause see why was Reapers Creepers Three so controversial? It was like, dude, wasn't supposed to be able to make this shit. It was just really, really fucking wild, bro. Weird, oh. hella weird. Um, I don't have a lot of horror movies that scared me. I only, I can only think of one that that to this day I don't even like people bringing this shit up. But I will for the sake of the topic. Do y'all ever seen this movie called Event Horizon? Yes, I did. Not heard of it. That shit is, is it so fucked up. No, it's it's in space. Yeah. It's about a spaceship that's trying to like develop technology to visit other, other dimensions. Other worlds and dimensions and right? shit. Right? It disappears and then it randomly reappears several years later. So they send a search party to, to explore out, yeah. the ship. Turns out the ship went to whatever dimension we consider hell. Oh. And it's fucked up. Mm. Like it's so fucked up. I just. I saw it at the right age up, in man. the right circumstance. To this day, when I think about it, I'm just like, I, I, sh- I shudder a little bit. And then yeah, the- that's a, that's a good one. I he- I hear that one brought up a lot or whatever yeah. when, in my movie uh, critic sphere. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all, there's other movies that are compared to it, like the Cloverfield Paradox. Right, 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 uh, right. This do you ever did y'all ever watch Love, Death, Robots <clears throat> on Netflix? <clears throat> no. Love, Death, Robots has a sequence where it's like the ship happens to go through this. It has a blip. Yeah, there's this light. Next thing you know, all of a sudden everything is just different. But when you find out these motherfuckers been gone and dead and all right, this right, other right. shit, so yeah, there's a lot of things that have been compared yeah, to. It's me. not good. It's not so, good, bro. I'm gonna tell you the movie that terrified me, and I know a lot of people finna just be like, "Yo, yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. really? The gay one, and that's what it's. Oh yeah, the <laughs> yeah, gay. Yeah. No, and it's no, and again, people speaking like, of gay. No, it's yeah. literally if you Google it, it's considered because of everything that happened. It's very, very considered homoerotic. Well, yeah, the creator. I mean, the director was gay, wasn't he? That's what it was. I don't know the is director. West, is Wes Craven? No, I don't think that Wes Craven is the director oh. of two. Yeah. I think, oh, I think whoever directed well, two might. I've heard. I've heard, heard it say thing? that it's an allegory. It's an allegory because for it. it's like he's afraid to come out that's like the whole that's thing that's the whole then i guess the actor turned out to be gay he later to be gay on yeah, 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 but yeah. it was just the way the movie is done not even just that it's like in is the this beginning. all the gayness or whatever the scares no bro <laughs> <laughs> the gayness is really... but no it's like when you have like the beginning with like being on the school bus and then freddie just take these kids onto the middle of a ravine and shit yeah, yeah, yeah. freddie is just always ter- this was the last freddie movie where freddie was terrifying before he started, started playing, being with hilarious and started yeah, playing yeah, with yeah, niggas, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was only terrifying bitch. technically in two movies. <laughs> Calling people bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, welcome to prime time, bitch. Is one of the greatest movie lines ever. But like, it was something about just the way how violent it looked and graphic in fucking two. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. just terrifying for me. Like Friday the Thirteenth was scary to me when we got to Jason. Actually, you know, again when we yeah. got to two, because one is he's not the killer and one is yeah, his yeah. mama. But it's like. Two was just scary. Uh, what else is a movie? Um, it's not a what, what the fuck because it was like movies I used to couldn't watch as a kid. Oh yeah, if we talking about non horror movies, I got a lot of them shit. That uh, scared you? Yeah. Oh, The Mask with Jim Carrey. Nigga, shit. what? That used to, <laughs> that used to scare me, the fucking shit out of me, uh, bro. Wait, how? Wait, wait, what? Is, what do you mean how? <laughs> this nigga was po- his eyes popping out and shit. He's like bouncing all around. Nigga, what are you talking? Crimes about? Crimes and shit. Well, I was very young when this shit came say, out. I was still. I was it's very like young. Cartoon. I was like five years old. That shit's scary. <laughs> That's fucking scary. Are you telling me really? that wouldn't scare a little Not kid? Not one bro? time. Did Jim Carrey, the mask. Yo, I never got terrified Terrifying, of the mask, bro. nigga. No, I mean, y'all were already the older. The Night of the y'all Demons remake scared the shit out of me. The what? Night of the Demons. Oh. So it's the one that came out in the 80s is a remake remake of one earlier. Uh-huh. And it was just violent as fuck. Like, it was graphic. Like, there's one scene where motherfucker is throwing up their entitled 
their entire intake, you know, entails and their entrails yeah. and everything. Like they just vomiting and all their intestines and everything. Prim must have been a Nickelodeon kid. Producer Yo say Prim was out here just watching uh Wild hey, and Crazy and kids. Doug, no, no, no. No. Like, There was something about this, you know what I'm saying? The mask. Yeah, no, that's holy scary, shit. Bro. What's another one that scares you then? I just don't think watch mad. Dumb and Dumber was just like fuck it. <laughs> 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 he was scared of Jim Carrey. <laughs> this nigga saw so bigger, reckless. This nigga saw a big ass dog on the road. Yeah. Like, it's a dog. These motherfuckers nah, are irresponsible. Man, you, you understand. There's, no. like, there's people on, I don't. There's people that understand. Oh, there, my bro. Lord. I, 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 think, to... I think there was like, I think the trailer came on before a movie I used to uh -huh. watch. On v, it was the VHS I used to watch all the time. And the trailer used to come on. And I don't know. It just used to scare bro. me. He's like, your fans. It was I like have so he's many in the questions. Hallway, and he's like, he's like talking to his landlady or whatever. Yeah, yeah he's got the mallet. Like, she like freaks out. And like his his eyes and his yeah, tongue. Yeah, I know the scene you talk about. I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> And I, I think it looks so real back to this. Yeah. You know? I know that shit no. look phony now, but that shit look hella real back I just back don't fucking this, get this it. This is so bizarre. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the I most just, bizarre uh, things. You never Max had, it, you never had an, un, you know what I'm saying, when you were a little kid, something that scared the fuck? You want to scare like Big Bird or Bro. Chuck E. Cheese or somebody? Y'all ever, nah. ever seen the movie Maximum Overdrive? Uh, it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. Truck chasing Steven, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the, when the motherfucking uh, the machines take over because oh, of no, aliens, bro, that shit was terrible. Because it's like you could be sitting there, motherfuckers was <laughs> Emilio Estevez <laughs> in there, like it's a part they're in a fucking in a diner, and the met the electronic knife just cuts on by itself and start cutting motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every like the pop machine literally just started shooting cans at niggas and killed a dude. Like that shit terrified me. You called it pop. Yeah, yeah, that's. Midwest, some Midwest yeah, shit. I'm not called it no soda. Pop Fuck niggas, you, man. You a pop nigga? Huh? I'm a let's, pop nigga. Let's let's go to something a little more light hearted. God damn it! You you, you yeah, mentioned. Let's talk about Jim Carrey the mask. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We making Prim we nervous. Freaking freaking so out out. We freaking people out out here, man. But you said Prim was maybe a Nickelodeon kid. One of the things we were going to talk about is goaded channels. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of your spice. topics. That was spice. The spice channel. <laughs> spice. <laughs> spice. <laughs> spice is goaded. Nigga. Hilarious. <laughs> nigga, spice. Nigga, the waves on your TV when niggas learn how to read between the lines for real. Your TV, you can hear everything clearly. You can hear everything, but you like, oh, I think that's a titty. That's hilarious. Wait, I think that's a titty. This nigga was doing jerk. You don't even have it. How the fuck you gonna yeah. say it's goaded? He was doing <laughs> jerk off. Double Dutch niggas like that's a titty <laughs> weight. That's, that's a fucking <laughs> that's a titty weight. No, that's a fucking jerk off Dutch nigga. You waiting to get in? You just, you just all right. Wait, that okay? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that was uh, caveman days, bro. Yeah, yeah like Cinemax, all, all that Ooh. shit. Oh, Cinemax was yeah, shit. Cinemax was the shit. I used to be on, the, shit. Used to be on that shit. This nigga said jerk off double. Yeah, nigga, you just you, you only getting flashes and stuff, so you know you can only jerk, you can only stroke so much. Like if you get, you'll catch it at the right moment where it'll stay for like maybe. Four. Yeah, you go up and then the, okay, T. <laughs> and, and then and the whole body went up like, oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, but shit. Jesus Christ, uh, uh, definitely Nickelodeon, obviously goaded, right? Uh, yeah, one I used to uh, UPN, RIP, UPN, UPN, oh, yeah, sure. UPN. Uh, RIP. the I WB. <laughs> yeah, RIP, Definitely go to the Gwaines Brothers. All that you shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? Double, 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 you be. Remember Fox was the black channel? I remember Fox yes, yeah. was. I remember Fox was the And on Living, the street, Living, Living Single, Living Single, Living Color, Martin, 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 New York Undercover, yep. Rock. Martin, New York Undercover was my shit. No? New York Undercover was the shit, bro. No? I hated New York Undercover. Nigga, no. that's what the fuck? Because well, it, I don't, that's it was Nigga, boring, did you watch bro. I think, yeah, we Time out. Did you watch the Malik Yoba? Uh, is it Richard or Ricardo Di Lorenzo? Michael Di Lorenzo. Yeah, Richard Ricardo. I just know that that's called Richard Ricardo. That's like so Richard <laughs> Ricardo. Wait a minute. That's, that's, Lucy's that's husband's wrong full name, name and shit. Wrong, yeah. I don't call him Ricky. I call this nigga Richard Ricardo. <laughs> I know about Richard. That's crazy. Oh no, that wasn't God. Ricky Ricardo, bro. Uh, Michael DiLorenzo and yeah, uh, no, fucking no. Malik Yoba, the original. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I think I'm significantly. You know what I'm saying? We we're in different generations. Y'all, sure. y'all, that shit was cool to y'all. Like, I think it, that shit. Plus, that shit came on after something I like. After living, after living single, after living single. Yeah, not, after no, after Martin 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 single. Was then, then New York under yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I think I was just not. I was still in a comedy mood or something. I wasn't trying to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't this want to transition to <laughs> procedural. I don't know what it was. But That's hilarious. Yeah, I wasn't uh, fucking with New York Undercover. Fucking, 
A, I mean, ABC had uh, TGIF, TGIF yeah. every Friday. So step that was by step, Family to. Matters, Full House. Absolutely. Um, remember, that's the one that had the small yay kids that had all they fucking Fox Sat Fox Kids. Yeah, Fox Saturday morning. Oh, Saturday. Fox Saturday morning is lit. Bro, oh, Spider Man, X Men. Uh, what else was on it? I think Dragon Ball came in that. That's when Dragon Ball was coming to America for the first time. It came through Fox. What was well, I was like early two thousands. I was like. On like Jackie Chan Adventures and all I remember that. Jackie Chan Adventures. Yeah, yeah. that's why I did when I was out. That was right yeah, when I was, was out. Like, yeah, yeah. Me, nigga, I'm, I'm, like, that I, shit was I'm dating me. myself. You know, I go back. I'm an 80s nigga, that. so I go back. Voltron, Transor Z, Thundercats. Yeah, 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 come on. You know what I'm saying? WGN days when you used to have. Flintstones or shit. You know? No, fuck that. <laughs> WGN back in the day when you used to have. Nigga, you would have Jim. He man, uh, GI Joe and Transformers. Yeah, you would have all them together, bro. Like those are the days, like shit, like that. Those cartoons. Why don't Turbo I remember Team weird Vision. ass cartoon like uh, Mr. Bogus and Mighty Max. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put y'all on like game. Yeah, I'm right? gonna put y'all on game on street the website. Sharks. I remember Street Sharks. Street Sharks was street the shit, sharks. bro. <laughs> street Sharks was the shit. Y'all remember the Battle Toads? Yeah, I remember Battle Toads. They, they had a cartoon. And shit? Yeah, of course they did. I remember they had a cartoon. Come on, man. Of course they had a they cartoon. There was a fake ass Ninja yeah. Turtles. Yeah, you know of what course, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what was the Disney Channel shit that hey, you watched? Producio, go to watchcartoononline.bz. I was never really a fan of Disney Channel. This is me no. putting y'all on some games. I watched real quick. like Smart Guy, or maybe like I catch like that's so Raven. Or whenever, BZ, they yep. put, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. whenever they put Raven fine ass. So as I you can see, them. if you type any search anything you want in that search bar up at the top, yeah. damn near any cartoon you can think of will pop up. Can you not put us on the bootleg uh, movie sites, please? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's ain't movies. I'm talking about cartoons. Okay, it's the they go Plastic Man right there. Yeah, so you, so if you like type in that, if you type in the search bar, go to the top, type in the search bar, type Turbo Team, for instance. Y'all remember Turbo Team? The dude, he had a fucking accident. Hell no. He was in his car <laughs> and he drove into some. Oh, so they don't know this oh, one. They okay. got everyone. They ain't got Turbo, Turbo Team. Team. Where the fuck is it? They must have changed. That must be a different do, do one. Do you remember Exo Squad? Yes, I do. You hey, remember hey, Exo Squad? Do you remember, squad. Do you remember Centurions? Yes, yes, Man yes, and Machine, yes, yes, Power yes, yes, Extreme, yes, yes. baby. Come on, dog. Man and Machine, Power. Ace McCloud, Jake Rockwell, Max. Uh, what the fuck was Max? Max Ray, bro. See, I, yeah, I have like a, a, all these obscure ones in my head, like Captain Bucky O'Hare. Captain uh, Bucky. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, the Let's go get yeah, some yeah, yeah. Biker Mice from Mars, Bi nigga. Yeah, yeah. SWAT Cats, bro. Damn, bro. You was, yeah. Said SWAT go, cats. Tubi has a lot of them mm. on there. You wasn't outside, huh? Hell no. <laughs> so I'm not, but his thing, I'm not going to lie because yeah, yeah. growing up in the 90s on the south side of Chicago, you couldn't go out a sure. lot like that. Early 90s was gang. Ha Niggas always talk about now because you see shit. Yeah. But back in the day was worse. I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but all these. Arguably, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you know. I was saying, because, you know, Chicago, I was just in Chicago and it was like. All right, yeah, the curfew. Yeah, street, you know what? It was just like, well, all right, when you take the Uber, don't go over it. You know what I'm saying? In this neighborhood, I mean, don't, eat, get me wrong, don't go Still, you can't. They tell you stay away from the McDonald's on Chicago and State. Yeah, that's the word. Yo, the Iron Man cartoon was dope. Uh, it was the Iron Man Fantastic Four. four in the yep, morning, yeah, they did all of them. I do remember that. The Incredible Hulk. Some good shit. There's some good shit. Let's okay. see. Um, Duck Ducktales is shit. Ducktales. Oh is yeah, what was the Disney Afternoon? What channel was that on? Is that I don't remember. Was was it? Yo, my oh. shit is Digimon, Digital Monsters. Like, yeah, niggas love Pokemon. I love Digimon. Oh, no, I couldn't fuck with no Digimon. You couldn't? Nah. I was on Digimon. I, I, Yo, I, I, did, I watched Gargoyles, every, nigga. I watched every episode. I couldn't tell you anything about that shit. But I, I watched all that shit. That, so he go to shit. Disney afternoon, y'all. Gargoyles, DuckTales, Gummy Bears. Yeah, I mean, this is all the good shit, except for Bonkers. Bonkers was the most lame bullshit in the world. Timon and Puma had their own oh, show. Mighty Ducks. Oh, yeah. Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks. Ducks. Yeah. Mighty Ducks was fire. Tailspin was fire. DuckTales. Gargoyles. Did y'all fuck with Darkwing Duck, though? That was my nigga. Absolutely. Yeah. When I, was cool. I I was part of the team that brought Darkwing Duck back. Did you know that? No. I, when Duck I worked at, when I worked at Boom Studios, we did a we did a Darkwing Duck comic book mini series uh, that became an ongoing, and that was the first original stories of Darkwing in years and years and years. Nigga, okay. Darkwing was that That's nigga so though. Right? When Absolutely. there's trouble, you call D -W. D W. Come on. Darkwing I always thought Duck. he was Daffy Duck or whatever. I thought it was like <laughs> Daffy. His old, I mean, just when you Wrong see universe, a, dog. Well, I'm no. saying, yeah, when you just see a duck or whatever, you just... <laughs> no, you know who used to be the nigga. A duck is a good look like a duck, like, quack like a duck. You know who was the nigga who didn't get props? <laughs> Gizmo Duck didn't, didn't get props. Uh, we put Gizmo Duck into the story. What was... You know what... The, you remember what the code word was for him to get the suit on? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
uh, blathering blatherskite. Blabbering blatherskite. Come on, dog. Yep. Oh, Come wow. on, dog. Yep. It was, this, he would say it was the weirdest shit you could say, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was the only thing he knew how to say was blabbering blatherskite and the fucking suit to come on. He'd be like, I'm Gizmo, dog. Come on, man. That's what's up, bro. Can't test me, dog. Cartoon <laughs> Network. So then you go to Cartoon Network. So like we go to those. Like if you talking about the shit as a kid, Cartoon Network. Yeah, for you sure. You had so much stuff that you know you could you could glom onto. Yeah, was something for different tastes. Cause like Cartoon Network gave us the Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, Dexter's Laboratory, Dee Dee, Courage John, the Cowardly Dog, yeah, Johnny Bravo, fucking uh, Space uh, Ghost, nigga. Space Ghost, uh, Brack, nigga, Brack was hilarious. The Brack show, Brack, yeah, the Adult, Brack show. All Adult Swim shit. Adult uh, Swim still top tier. Cow and Chicken, <laughs> the regular show. So the regular show in Adventure Time. I don't know. Y'all might know this, but and some of our view, viewers and listeners might not. Those were two shows that were designed that they were able to put on Cartoon Network, but weren't kids shows. Yeah, yeah Cow yeah. and Chicken was definitely not a kid Cow show, and Chicken bro. ain't that one either. Wild as fuck, yeah. But yeah, I mean, they started that with Ren and Stimpy, where it was yeah. like Nigga, kids Rich. was watching it, but you were like, oh, yo. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. The fuck? Yo, Ren and Stimpy got to the point when Ren, when Stimpy was cutting a, like Ren was cutting a piece of wood with a saw. The wood was between Stimpy's ass cheeks or some <laughs> shit like that. You were like, yo, this ain't, this ain't what it's supposed to be. I don't think I've watched an episode of Adventure Time or those are LSD. Yeah, I've never shows. seen Adventure, Adventure Time, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the one that's supposed to be an LSD trip. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, think, it looks like it's funny, but yeah, like that. I'd already it's not checked out kids. the cartoons yeah. by then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all remember yeah, the Happy Happy Joy Joy song from Ren and Stimpy? Of course, Stimpy? of course. Where motherfucking Stimpy get a wrist, got there. Stimpy, you mm-hmm. idiot. <laughs> they tried to bring that shit back, and it just did not catch yeah, steam. Of course, they brought not back uh, Beavis and Butthead too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, MTV was a go-to uh, channel as well back in the day. Yes, MTV had a lot of shit. Like MTV's trash now, but you'd be surprised like how lit that shit was. back MTV is just like Teen Mom and shit. Oh, which one? Oh, which one? Producer, yo, you said I got all the lost ones. So which one? L- 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 lost what? Because he got the lost ones. I'm guessing some. some Ren oh, Ren Stimpy. Oh, oh, oh shit! I think, man, look, tell that other uh, show that's supposed to come behind us. They can't make it today. Niggas <laughs> 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 would be sitting there watching. Um, for what else? What else we got on the rundown? All right, yo, did y'all hear? So, City Boys are up 25 points. Oh. Let me explain. Wait, y'all, I, don't, I don't consider myself a City Boy. Did y'all hear about the Moroccan football <laughs> player? His wife. Tried to get, he's like worth his. Uh, this dude is worth like stupid amount of money. He's twenty four, right? Uh-huh. And his ex wife tried to div- is divorcing him, and she was trying to get like half of every fucking thing he got. She found out he owns nothing. The nigga put so it's a uh, Akra Fakimi, bro. Put all his shit in his mama name. Uh. He big time. This nigga is still fly. This nigga put everything in his mama name where his mama gives him an allowance. So when she divorced him and he's worth, he's estimated worth 70 million. His ex-wife thought she was going to come up. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I've heard I've, I've heard a lot of people who doing that. That's the thing where you like, you sell all your shit to your homie and shit when you about to get divorced and then you just buy it all back. Low key. Or she whatever. put like, every, yeah, everything in his mom. So she was like, she thought she was getting divorced. Yeah. She finna come because like he still got, he has the money according to her. Right. All she sees, she don't know he going to mama, yo, it's time right, for right. this allowance. And so when they get divorced, like he was going through like a bunch of sexual assault cases and a bunch of other stuff. But when she's trying to divorce, she's like, oh, I'm going to come up like uh, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. Right, right, right. But, but no, the right, not knowing like... it close because Jeff Bezos' ex-wife came up on like $130 billion. Yeah. But I mean, her, I mean, she, you know, she's entitled to something. And hopefully she came up a little bit and she can just go get the fuck out of she here. She can't, but somewhere. that's the thing. You can't come up on what is half of nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah, he ain't got that nothing. That bag is nothing. light as yeah, fuck. Right. The bag is light as <laughs> fuck. You can't come up on him because he has nothing in his name. Okay, well. Damn. I mean... <laughs> It's some city boys I, up twenty five points. Yeah, hey, it's, 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 she, this nigga worked the system. I'm I don't saying, know yeah, what to yeah, say. She, yeah. yeah, you know, there's more people in the world to feel bad for other than this, this, this lady. <laughs> you be I'm good, lady. I'm, I'm talking about. You know I'm, I'm saying, saying, the city yeah. boys on this. I mean, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was trying to come. You know, what I'm saying. You know, because she does have to start over and shit. Starting over your life, you you probably need a little bit. Yeah, of something. but can you imagine hey, starting over thinking you don't have to start over that fucking much though? You like, man, my my bottom, I got to start from ain't that much. 
I'm hearing is this nigga is guilty of every crime he <laughs> 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 been accused of. Yeah, because if you thinking if you playing this kind of 3D chess with your wife, nigga, you definitely are shady as fuck. Absolutely guilty. One hundred percent. God damn. This nigga is guilty on several levels, nigga. There's no doubt about that. But it's just the fact that it's like. You hear dudes always saying, how do I try to keep my ex-wife who I don't love no more? I don't want to be rocking with her. How do I keep her from getting anything? We were married or we yeah. together this short amount of time. If you're depending on the state you're in. Yeah, so your shit, man. Yeah, if you're in a certain state, I think it's here. If you're here 10 years together, you ain't got to be married. That common law shit kick in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how do you game the system? The nigga found the way to game the system. We thought the big timers was talking shit in the song <laughs> Stay Fly when they was like, got everything yeah. in my mama name. And that's hey, why. Also, the prenup works, too, if you're going to be like that. You can just be up front. Yeah. With the Don't the prenup you... expire after a certain amount of years? Oh, I, don't know. I didn't never know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got to re-up a prenup? Yeah, what, will... Oh, shit. Yeah. I think in California, the prenup. The, the prenup expires like after 10 years. Yep. Look at Ooh. that. A California, California prenup is valid for 10 years. Y'all put niggas on game, man. Y'all better re up and prenup. Hey, can you imagine? I'm, I'm looking out for y'all niggas out here, bro. Hey, can Come you on. imagine the hey. <laughs> alarm go off on three days before them? Like, what's this alarm? No, bro? oh, you know why I know that? You know why I know that? <laughs> you need to take it. It's going to be awkward, too. You got to bring her in. Pimp, the reason I know that, I can't say her name, but a, a network executive I know is married to a dude. She ain't been happy for a minute. And her alarm went off on when the prenup was going to be up, up alarm. that I year. Just, nigga, the pre- we just came- <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the prenup it alarm. Like bro. Bell tower and, shit. Dum, and so she dum. had to make a decision. Like, do I still stay with this nigga? Do I fucking dip? Because in about a month, he going to get half my shit. So here's the prenup alarm. So the prenup alarm, the, the basic package goes to your phone <laughs> and you'll get an email <laughs> alert that will let yeah, you know. Download the app today. <laughs> Wait, so look, this is the basic, the email alert will let you know that your prenup is about to expire. Or you can apply and upgrade and get the deluxe package where we will send someone to your home and job to remind you, bitch, I know you saw that email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, Yo, man. Yo, all Crazy. right. So we did that. So we talked, so... We watched before we got on air because we got to get ready to get up out of here pretty soon. Yeah. Before we got on air, we watched the White Men Can't Jump trailer, the reboot Absolutely. that is happening on from through 20th Century Fox is going straight to Hulu. Which is it? Does that make you look at a movie different? First and foremost, if what if a movie is coming out and it has these bigger names, and I understand streaming is the game now, but if you hear a movie is going to something like Hulu or Netflix as opposed to going to theaters, not anymore. Yeah, I think Loki. We're we're transitioning. So I think a lot of people will look at it sideways, mm-hmm. but I think you know Netflix has already put out enough dope originals or whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think people aren't really, you know, I mean, skeptical I mean, of streaming movies. Because no you look, because like I said, you look and you see some people like, oh, this must not be shit if it's got to go here. Yeah. So I was wondering what y'all thoughts were. So thanks well, for that. Yeah, point. because nowadays it's like. Movies will come out. Oh, they'll, they'll make like Mario's making a lot of money right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you Prey, uh, the Predator movie or whatever came out yeah, on Hulu. But yes, however, yeah. that was. But we, when we think about like the biggest shit in the world that like everybody's talking about because everybody's watching it, it's usually streaming shit. Everybody's talking about beef. Yeah, on Netflix, mm-hmm. Game of Thrones was on HBO. Tiger you know King, like, Tiger King. Like yeah, that, you know what I mean. Game, all that shit. Everything that like yeah. sweeps the globe yeah. seems to be on streaming. Yeah. So yeah, like, like Hulu and HBO. They Not put that out I enough. think white men jump. You know, if you ever put it out enough, Mount Grady movies to cover that yeah, you know yeah. cushion that blow uh by the way hbo max will no longer be known as that it'll just be max come know, uh right? May first yep. yeah they're combined with warner brothers or no they're they already just, combined they're just I mean, discover, they're, discovery, discovery plus yeah okay, they're just calling yeah, it max discovery is what they're doing interesting yeah so we we're gonna get into uh great batman versus superman re 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 release <laughs> palm springs on hulu yeah did some numbers uh so yeah b- things like that yeah but so, i mean do y'all y'all did y'all like the trailer do y'all want to see the movie um i thought I, Jack Harlow surprised me. He seemed like he was doing a good job acting. Yeah, he seemed like he had some good help. Uh, the the Wesley Stipes stand in. I don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Has, he, has he ever been in anything? Do you recognize I get, the guy? I, he looked familiar, but I don't know from what though. But that's probably what it is. You, you see somebody you're like, I know something. him, but yeah. I don't know. No, I don't think I've ever seen him. Before. I'm just not certain what the Sinkle, impetus. I know Sinkle the nigga Walls. that Prem killed is in the movie. So he was in the na- he was in the, he's in the black. That's what it is. What's he's the blackening. Yeah. I don't know what that is. The black and the uh, shit from three oh, people from Marlo Chicago. Wayans type of things. It looked like some Marlo Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> it looked like a fake ass resort to love. Marlo not sure what that is. American Soul. That was the Don Cornelius joint. Is this Lance Reddick's last role before Prem killed him? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. Nope. Nope. 
You saying this nigga like Lance Reddick? No, Lance Reddick is in the movie. Oh, White Man okay. Can't Jump, right? Oh, he is? Yeah, go back. Oh, 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 oh I thought you was talking shit. No. Mm-hmm. Is he, oh, yeah, okay, I didn't see it. that. Okay, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nah, I didn't even see he's that. He's in a bunch of stuff coming up. I didn't kill him. Okay. I, didn't kill, I didn't kill him, y'all. Yo, shout out to Yana Taylor. Her movie, A Thousand and One. It's dope. You, yeah. Yeah. I heard I've heard a bunch of people say I got a chance to I was gonna go see it. I had the screening opportunities. I didn't. Um I wanna, you know, I'm I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I guess it's just, you know, I am part of that generation that like we were talking about before we started uh recording, when you hear reboots, you're automatically like, ugh. Yeah. You hear yeah. reboots and remakes, you're like, come on, fam, do we need to? Because we talked to look, we saw House Party. Mm, we sure as fuck we did. did. We saw House Party and we, we were like, unsee it. We can't unsee it. <laughs> you know, producer yo asking, when do we get the remake of Eddie? Yeah. <laughs> Who's we'll gonna be, be Lil Uzi Vert? It's gonna be Lil Uzi Vert and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stacey <laughs> Patton. Go he got but, fucking, uh, but you get what I'm saying? It's like, ring and shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know people like, oh, why y'all y'all just don't want nobody taking your remakes? But yeah, but you keep saying you want original content, and I get right. it. It's easy to remake something. Well, yeah, and I'm not even like a movie buff like that. Like I try to watch the classics, or whatever. But like remakes have Nigga, been a what thing are the forever. classics according to you? Because we've had these discussions about movies with you and certain things. You uh, just because you like Boomerang. Well, yeah, yeah. Boomerang. <laughs> like Boomerang. Boomerang's not a classic, bro. Boomerang oh, is not a classic. Yeah. Now y'all see what the you fuck I'm You cannot like it, but I don't know why it's not, classic, not being bro. a classic. Oh, well, it is because it's, it's got that John Witherspoon. Come on. Whole, that whole John Witherspoon scene. Wait, that no one goes out on. to see originals. Yeah. No, yeah. I think people will. People do, but it's just... Yeah, cause, well, cause the, the, the marketing don't be right with them. Or that's something. exactly right. Yeah, yeah. Everybody went saw everything everywhere all at once. You yes. know what I mean? And it won that was a fucking like word Oscar. Of mouth type of shit. Yeah, right. But, but people ended up going to see. But that's what any if other you make movie. good shit. You know yeah. what I mean? It's why we're the best con- uh, podcast in the world, man. We make good shit. Yes, people it, fuck with us. It was all in streaming, but it was also our producer yo was chiming in <laughs> said that was all in streaming, but it was in theaters as well. It was not. In a, it wasn't a major, major. It was in theaters enough. To where it yeah, was able to qualify because it had to be in theaters <laughs> to qualify say, for the like, Oscars. Fact check, that was, that was that why that. it had to. Because you got to remember, any movie that can, movies, yeah, see, it grossed 70, 70 it grossed 139.9. That's not that much. But look at how many theaters, yes, I understand we're highlighting the number, but it's not a lot of theaters. But it also, did, how expensive was the movie? Yeah, it's it, not, looked, it looked kind of expensive. I mean, it probably not, no, I don't know. Yeah, but it didn't need to be in a lot of theaters. Remember, the rule for Oscars are, AI with that shit. the rules for Oscars <laughs> okay, are, it has to be in the movie right. theater yeah, at right. least like two weeks. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. That's it. $25 million budget and bust 139 Yeah, that's a that's pretty a good. hell of five gross. That's 10 times his budget damn near. That's pretty good. Um, Y'all want to get into these who wins before we run yeah, out of Yeah, let's do a couple Y'all who wins before couple we couple roll. Wins? Let's All do right. it. Let's do it. Yeah. So I actually, so you you put me in one. Uh, I recently saw something about my opponents, and it, I changed my mind. I think this nigga <laughs> okay. might. I think this okay. nigga might will be. Let me clarify. Bit. I didn't put you in. That's from the comments. <laughs> the comments put us in. The, the comments no, put the us comments in brawls with certain That's people, hilarious. and I was like, okay, let me pass these on for okay. the segment. So yeah, <sighs> we could do. We could just do those three real quick. Yeah, let's just, let's just do ours. Let's, do ours. let's yeah. just do ours and then save the other ones for okay, next week. Okay, let's power up the two of these real quick. So first up, we got Prim. Versus Lenny Kravitz. Now, I take offense to this. I feel like niggas are saying I'm a fake ass Lenny Kravitz type nigga. Yeah, I think that was the underlying. Like a diss. I mean, yoga guru type of nigga. Nah, I don't. Oh, what's up, Lisa Bonet, baby daddy? I know, right? Yeah, I'll be, I'll, I'll be low key on the yoga, though. I'll be, I'll be on okay, the yoga I feel you. Shit. But, uh, I saw some. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, Lenny Kravitz had like a shirt off picture. Or whatever. He's like fifty eight. Nigga, abs. That nigga yeah. like the shit. Fucking swole. I'm like, bro. Bro, he probably only eat nuts and berries. Yeah, nigga. He, yeah, that nigga he, drink the yeah, steel he air. Some, he he doesn't you, drink water. Your initial reaction <laughs> in the group chat was, "I'll thrash this nigga." I'll thrash this nigga. This nigga. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of changed my tune. He might. He might. How tall is he? How how much he weigh? I gotta see this. <laughs> this nigga size. Let me grab it up. Because he's 57, bro. This nigga <laughs> prostate not working right and shit. You know what? I'm uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's my thing about Lenny. What? Lenny what? looks what? like <laughs> he knows some shit. Yeah, he probably got no taekwondo. Or no, that nigga shit. seen some shit. Bro. But th- but I mean like he like some shit that you can't even quantify. It's like not a kung. It's not kung. It's like some Native American oh, it's like shit. Like the League of Shadows. He turned or into a wolf or something. <laughs> 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 
what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's just like, oh shit, like you know what I mean? So since you wasn't, you, you can't prepare for. Her. Yeah. Oh, he looked like he had like one of them butterfly knives or whatever. He'd be flipping right. all this shit all around. He, yeah. he, he jump into your soul yeah. through your mouth. Well, he grabs yeah. the, like, grab the type of nigga walk around with a razor blade on his tongue. Just right, like right, right. Give me some wild shit, man. So who's the witch? So who Throw are we going with? Shit. Hey, low key. How, I still got me winning, bro. I can't. I'm not you can't losing. take this L. He almost sixty. He almost sixty. Also, what you know that what mean, mean though? Like, yeah, that mean a lot, bro. Look, that I'm, a I'm lot, a, bro. I, I like. I'm the guy. Oh, he five seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He five seven. Bro. I'm the I'm the kind of person like when people would say, "Oh, Superman five, versus seven, Batman," bro. and people pick Batman because he's smart and I prep. No, no, no. If it come down to just it's on site, Power, it's yeah, no it's one's thinking Power, about yeah. it. Superman. I think I'll go. I will give yeah, it to I'm, my yeah, man. Five, 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 five. Five. You remember yeah, Batman v Superman when they first met? Yeah, and and then uh, <laughs> fucking no, it was the second time they met. And fucking Superman told him, he said, hey, bro, if I want it, I take it. Right, no, right, I right, want right. to calm down. So, like, so we go, are we going prim? Yeah, I'm going I prim, I think I'm man. going prim, prim as well. Prim little Sparta kick this little nigga. Hey, he'll give, me, he give me a run for my money, though. He'll probably he give you a couple roundhouse kicks. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? With a but scarf in the air. I'll put him down, though. I'll put him down. Nigga, do y'all remember The Incredible Hulk, the movie? Yeah. Remember when Blonsky first walked up to the Hulk the first time they had that standoff? And the Hulk just kicked Broke all his bones yeah. in his body. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he's small though. He definitely got he cut up. He, cut he up. got an island workout, nigga. Like yeah. this yeah. nigga you works out with he got his oh, stamina's probably more than me. No, hold on, strength and conditioning training, martial arts. That See, nigga, he knows some shit. That dog. nigga put a sweeper <laughs> kick the fuck out. You, you don't get hit four times before you know <laughs> the fight <laughs> started yet. Hey, man. Let this us know in the comments who y'all hey, got. Hold on. Hold on. Right. This, nigga, this nigga Prim got hands in the air. Hold up. Gonna be wait. some Dragon Ball shit. He's standing over <laughs> yeah, there and you start feeling it. Like, wait, wait, wait. What? What? Hilarious. <laughs> so the winner is who now? Right. Is it right, still who? Prim? Is it still Prim? <laughs> I think so. I, I still think I'm still going for it. I think it's still me. I'm the chosen support, nigga. I'll jump in. Because like I said, he got, I got, you know, he's old. He's old. There, if Lenny beat your ass, I'm, I'm there that for you. I'm in my house. Yeah, I ain't gonna let, let that guy. I can't let it ride. Hey, here's what's gonna happen. You. Lenny Crabb is gonna walk up to this nigga and throw some baby powder at the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna throw a smoke screen and shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he start playing a song You fall asleep and shit. <laughs> Lenny Crabb is so dangerous That nigga gonna tie his dreads To Prim's dreads And like yeah, We're stuck he together just, Yeah he melt Mind melt this and shit I don't even wanna fight no more That <laughs> <laughs> nigga's dreads Stuck together like Avatar You know how they Lenny Crabb That melody Yeah that's what's Change up, your man. life bro I might go start Lenny crying I might and go shit. Lenny <laughs> No okay he, next oh, up Yes We got Jay Washington Versus yes. Dr. Umar <laughs> yeah. Now, why was this the choice? I don't know. Why was dog. this the, why was that? That was from the comment. But I guess I could see it. You pull up Dr. Umar Johnson. I uh, pull up Dr. Dre, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, y'all have uh, similar attributes, I would say. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Uh, but he, right. he could be considered a bear. Uh, you know, 100%. What the fuck is 100%. a bear? Pause. Pause. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Um... Oh no! I don't know. Jay's got the wrestling background. You pro background. wrestling yeah, ass nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. know how to get so him. So here's grapple my or here's where I'm going. The <laughs> only thing I've ever seen Doctor Umar do is talk. Okay. This nigga, and here's the thing: you're not gonna confuse me with big words because <laughs> I have just as much of the intellect as you do. I thought you was going the other way. I was about to say you throwing a lot of big words at me since I don't understand them. I'm gonna take a disrespect nah. and beat your ass. <laughs> nah, I'm just like, all right, bro. You said that, and yeah. still throwing these. Oh, look. you going to debate this nigga? That's what you no, doing. I ain't got because he gonna. Try to talk. Debate, he gonna try to talk you down, brother. Listen, brother. What you can't do is <laughs> brothers. Please. Do you understand? Brother, These are brother, ridiculous. Brother. Brothers, listen. You cannot do this to appease the white oh, yeah, media. Yeah. We're supposed to come in unity. We're supposed to come in unity and together, my brother. You are a thick brother, like I am a thick brother. <laughs> and then I pull out my magical power to beat him, a white woman, and I win. Well, oh shit! That's hilarious. The, yo, white women to take him down. He be acting like he don't like that's white his women. That's his weakness and shit. That's his, his kryptonite. That's <laughs> his kryptonite is white women. Oh wow! Hey, Chris got... Spencer and How to Be a Menace. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! The, Mecca, the mother of Mecca is before me. See, look, they go video with him with white women. That's right. Out here shooting my the shot. My milk of magnesia. My milk of magnesia. <laughs> my sweet kale. Right on, I get it. Okay. So, look, <laughs> but here's the problem, though. 
This nigga, I feel like if I use my power of pulling out a white woman, this nigga has a special attack out of nowhere, and it's Charlemagne. And then next mm. thing I know, I got Charlemagne biting on my ankles. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> this little nigga nah, just Charlemagne can't... ain't ready for no action, he, bro. He, he, he I'm don't just want no Charlemagne don't want no smoke. Yeah, all. we know. Remember that nigga got ran up on when he was going to the yeah. studio? <laughs> that nigga's name is Leonard. Le- Le- you know Le- what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. Leonard, yeah. yeah. So, hey, I ain't never seen Dr. Umar Johnson in action. Right. You know what I mean? I've seen I've seen uh, Jay Washington wrestle. I think you might got him. If, I think so. I think you might got him. Thank you. I'm the winner. Thank you. Th- mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right. So let's go. This last one is a hilarious. Look, the Dr. Umar one for me was funny. The Lenny Kravitz and you was hilarious. <laughs> but nigga, yeah. we got Chris Burns. This one versus, yeah, it's very amusing. Chris, Chris Burns, Burns versus Lupe Fiasco. Lupe Fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. I can definitely right, see I'm the I'm going to tell you something. I want to go with you, broski. I love you to the death. Nigga yeah, Lupe this Fiasco is crazy, bro. But that nigga Lupe finna kick push the fuck out <laughs> 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 The nigga Lupe did a whole photo shoot with a samurai sword, nigga. Are I you mean, beating mean the sword? I'll he smack like the, this nigga with his skateboard, bro. Yeah, this he nigga, like the little nigga go, from uh, Bernie Mac show. He's yeah, a yeah, black yeah. belt in karate, nigga. <laughs> karate is the fucking... So, oh, that's karate's the, so weak, bro. Yeah, that's the fucking, uh, you what you call it, Special Olympics of martial arts. Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should only work if both niggas if doing both karate. Niggas whatever, doing karate. Right? <laughs> Who got yeah, a joke like that? Oh, wait, you wasn't in your horse stance? That's right, nigga. You kicked you in the chest, nigga. Whose joke is that? Somebody got a joke like that. Does it? Ron Taylor. Oh, does he? Oh, hilarious. Who is it? Oh, Ron Taylor. Okay, yeah. Shout out Ron Taylor. Shout out Ron indeed. <laughs> I didn't even know that bit, but that's what I think about when I see karate. No one wins <laughs> nothing with karate, nigga. You can show up to the UFC with karate, you can choke the fuck out immediately. Lupe ain't got me, bro. He gonna try to battle rap me and shit. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I don't see Lupe Fiasco winning. Come on, shit. bro. What is big... well, current day Lupe Fiasco. Look up Lupe Let's Fiasco. Let's get the tail of the tape. How big is how big is Lupe? <laughs> I say 2013. Lupe is like five, Not, six. No, 2023. My bad. Yeah, you gotta get 2023. Does he still have dreads? <laughs> he should. Yeah. Well, no, nah, I'm winning, bro. Look at this dude. Uh, Lupe, yeah, he ain't really put on no weight. Go get Lupe's enough, height bro. real quick. I think Lupe like five six five. That's seven. what I'm saying. How big? How tall? How much he weigh? He's we size it up, niggas. You got to. Just... Oh, is he in a beef with Kid Cudi? Five ten. Oh, five ten. Okay, okay, he up there. I got him by. T- I got him by three inches. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'm definitely heavier than Pause. this. Pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> he a little bit older. You know what I mean? And he, you know, nah, I got this nigga. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck all that. Fuck all that. But what if this nigga Lupe, this nigga Lupe will pull out the Dragon Balls for real, yeah, nigga. Yeah, got a samurai sword, bro. What if just, yeah. The nigga is going to, this nigga finna summon up his cheetah This nigga finna start standing in front of you going, uh, 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 uh. Bro. And let wind come out, I'm not a, a putty on <laughs> Power Rangers. I ain't gonna wait to watch this nigga transform. I'm gonna fucking batter him while that's happening, bro. That was always my thing in Power Rangers. Why are they sitting watching these niggas? Yeah, be they just ready. Be let the Power Rangers like show off and flash. Whoop, whoop, yeah, it's like, like shoot it. these niggas, stab yeah, them. They be calling the Megazord and <laughs> shit. Like, like, uh-uh. Don't let them call the damn Megazord. <laughs> yeah, bro. Right. <laughs> Fuck his shit up. This nigga on a flute and shit. Yeah, go don't bust let him his ass. Yeah. Hey, throw something out of shoot him with that That dude got a Naruto jumpsuit. Say, yeah. Yeah. Lupe Fiasco for the run that you like this. As soon yeah, as he right. fucking charge up, I'm going to throw a shoe at this nigga. Lupe Fiasco, yeah, he an anime watching that thing. I mean, anime niggas be getting down now. Like, you, Them niggas be studying the disciplines of what they watch yeah, in cartoons. I don't, I don't, he don't seem like he like that. Nah, he ain't got, he, he, he's not so like that. Yeah, BBC winter. Club, we, we taking anybody, man. We I'm sticking together, bro. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm jumping in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what this nigga brings. You better jump in if Lupe is yeah. <laughs> the best for me. I can't live with myself. Uh, that's why your ass got beat by Lupe. Yeah, yeah, ain't ain't nigga. Ain't no one has ever had that said about them, bro. Wait, wait. I like how this nigga bring, hey, bring this nigga grab his chest. You better jump in. Yeah, yeah. If I'm losing, oh no, we can't let that ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no we no. winning every time. The man. same way, uh, what he <sighs> said, you ain't never heard, Cat Williams said, you ain't never heard somebody say, oh, Michael Jackson fucked this shit out of, you never heard, oh, Lupe <laughs> yeah, beat that nigga ass. Like, like, no, you no, I can't, I can't be the first. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Lupe's documented record is just one and oh. Yeah, this <laughs> my ass on the fucking birds. <laughs> this mad face on all the hip hop blogs. <laughs> Wait, you gotta you gotta have your glasses tilted to the side. Shit, like I'm on Vlad TV. So when Lupe, <laughs> ask right, right. your ass, like, 
Damn. Oh, man, you want to talk about this? I can't be mean down here, bro. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? I don't think, yeah, no, yeah. we got it, bro. Hey, as always, man, make sure y'all in the comments, if you're watching on YouTube, throw some of your Hoover wins in the comments. Yes. We got a bunch we're going to do on the next episode. We are literally, y'all have helped us out a lot. We got a lot of these we're going to be able to keep track with so we can have these for a while, which we're going to try to keep doing is putting the clips of the Hoover wins up on the uh, Instagram, so y'all gotta subscribe, y'all gotta follow the IG mm-hmm. at BBC Club Pod. Yo. Make sure if you're listening on the podcast, five star ratings, review, bump us up in the algorithm. We trying to beat any and every other niggas, not just the niggas Burns don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. BB, BBC Club Pod on Instagram. Uh, you got a Wesley Pipes quote or no? We oh about shit, that? I forgot the po- okay. yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next okay. time. Okay, yeah, the Pipes quote of the day. Hold on, that you got him pulled. You got some Pipes quotes are easily accessible or not? This sounds so wild. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pull up a video because that was one of the who would wins. Say. We may go a little bit extra here because we had Wesley Pipes, Mr. Marcus versus. Oh, I had it versus Lexington Steve. Oh no, oh, we, we did yeah. that one. We did Wesley Pipes versus Mr. Marcus, though. Oh, right? we did. Oh, that's what and we then did. We do was that. Like, imagine them fighting naked or whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, you know what I mean. Pause. Yes. Imagine fighting naked. Who's another black porn star than Mr. them Martin. three niggas? Rico's I know. Strong. I know that. Rico Strong. Rico Strong. That nigga's like Crip and shit. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he was on No Jumper talking about he was like what? bang gang, oh, like no. gang actually gang banging, 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 not with women. Gang banging for yeah. real. Oh, okay. Damn, yeah. this is... Oh, I have a... Bro, Lex, I have a quote. Lexington still wore me out once. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ, pause. <laughs> pause, Jesus. Is it heaven, earth, my... I don't know if this ever happened to y'all niggas. <laughs> this shit wore me out so bad. So, I was watching a flick. Okay, you know what I mean? I we talked a lot about that. <laughs> and Lexington still was going to work on this chick, right? And really piping her down. And I'm approaching my, you know, my finish, right? My, my, my finishing move. And right as I'm reaching it, why this nigga pull out and go right into the camera and go, yeah, that's what I'm talking. And now I'm fucking. I hate that. Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you finished right there. Right, while yeah, he, I'm staring in this that. nigga's eyes. Now I feel like. I hate when they focus on this what nigga. What are we face, doing, bro? bro? Like, stop that. Who is, who is filming porno? But seriously, do why that, would bro? you ever focus on the nigga's Don't face? Don't do that, bro. What? Who is filming that shit? The man? worst. Stop that shit. Seriously, I, I fucking hate that. Because you want to talk about pause, my dick's in my hand. I'm. Fucking just oh, excreting yeah, and this it, nigga bro. staring at me <laughs> in my soul, bro. Yeah, I, mean, that's not cool. Cool. I feel like I look key work for him now. <laughs> I feel like, I, yeah, I owe this nigga some money or something. Yeah, now it's like, this nigga money I owe him a pause. debt. It's like, fuck that. Shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, <laughs> nigga Lexus is still wore me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we clipped that, somebody. We clipped oh, that shit's getting clipped. Huge pause. <laughs> Jesus, Lord. All right, I have our Wesley Pipes quote of the day. Absolutely. Silence, bitch. I can't hear your pussy talking. Damn, you hear that? That's your pussy getting beat up. It's calling for help, but ain't nobody coming to help that motherfucker. <laughs> Bravo, Wesley. Imagine in normal life. As you want to just be like, Get out of my house. Get out of me, first yeah, of all. Jesus, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah, he had a restaurant or something. Yeah, <laughs> bitch, give me that number one. Make that shit sloppy. Slop on my motherfucking number one. Fun, yeah. I want you to explode that mayonnaise or whatever the fuck. Man, bitch, hey. I want to squirt it all over them potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. All over the buns. Oh, how did they find you, niggas? Prim. Oh, hey, Moses Prim, man, on everything. Oh, Moses underscore Prim on Instagram. Check me out on Twitch. Moses Prim. But check me out on No Jumper News. Uh, check, me, check out that Dear Mom. A, a video. My like Mike video is probably going to get unblocked at some point. Check out, yeah, Hood Cinema, man. It's everything. It's, it's, it's whatever. I'm out of here. <laughs> Chris <laughs> underscore please uh, on all the things social media wise. That's it, man. Jesus Christ. It's hot yeah, as fuck. It's it's nigga, I'm over here sweating. <laughs> yeah. Mr. J. Washington, M-R-J-A-Y. You should know how to spell Washington everywhere. Mad Titan Podcast. That's it. Look, thank y'all to everybody. Shout out Petty Cash Studio. Shout yes, out producer yo. Man, this has been a wild one. And boy, boy, boy. Holla at y'all next week, though. We out. Oh, if y'all want to do a theme song for us, hit us up. We out. Bye. Peace.